Mind your own business. George Galloway demands EU stop meddling in UK affairs. George Galloway has torn into the EU, demanding Brussels minds its own business and stop meddling in UK affairs. George Galloway has attacked the European Union for meddling in the UK's internal affairs since Brexit is underway. Speaking to RT America, the former British MP urged Brussels to recognize the reality that Britain has left the EU. He went on to say that it was better that everyone minds their own business. This follows a series of dramatic clashes between the two sides in recent weeks. Last month, the EU threatened to trigger Article 16 and overturn parts of the Brexit deal on the Northern Ireland Protocol. There was also outrage in Britain after leaders within the EU, including French President Emmanuel Macron, questioned the efficacy of the vaccine from Oxford University and AstraZeneca. Germany also prompted outrage in Downing Street by refusing to authorize the AstraZeneca jab for over 65s. British ties with Brussels also flared up over post-Brexit border controls, including a devastating ban on British shellfish. The UK government has stepped in to offer small British businesses access to a £20 million Brexit support fund to help them with new post-Brexit trade rules. Mr Galloway responded to the recent outrage. There was a lot of noises off about the Irish situation when the EU was negotiating with us about the terms of our final departure from the EU. There still are problems, there is no doubt, but those problems will eventually be worked out. The reality is Britain has left the EU, and the EU has no further jurisdiction in our affairs. It is better that everyone minds their own business. On Thursday, Ireland's PM Michiel Martin turned on Brussels and warned other EU leaders to stop bashing Britain. Mr Martin told the BBC that Brussels bosses needed to cool it after a series of rows with the UK on vaccines and border checks. In an unusual public rebuke, the Irish leader said, I worry a bit about the post-Brexit noise from EU member states towards Britain and vice versa. I would tell one or two of them that they need to cool it, dial it down. This isn't an ongoing battle between the UK and some of the bigger beasts of Europe. Let's move away from that. He raised concerns that Ireland would become collateral damage if relations between Britain and France and Germany continue to break down. Today news. Latest news. Please support our work.